Okay, they want to know which relation represents a function. All that means is for each of these choices you get a bunch of points. Which one of them have points that represent a function? Now what are you looking for? Well, remember what a function is. It's a relationship that takes every x value that you're given and maps it to one y value. <coughs> Excuse me. Never does it map a single x value to multiple y values. So you're looking for a situation where one x value maps you to two different right, y values. That would be a non-function. So here in the first one, look for repeats and x values. You have 0 and 0. right? Those two x values repeat. And what I notice is that 0 first maps to 3, and then 0 maps to 6. We well, have one x value, zero, mapping to two different y values. That's not a function. Here, the same thing, but with negative seven. First, negative seven maps to five, and then negative seven maps to one. Again, one x value, mapping two different y values. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not a function. And same thing with three. Here, we have the number six mapping to two, and the number six mapping to negative two. Right? So that's one x value with two different y values. And I noticed in the last one, <clears throat> what you could have looked for from the beginning is to recognize that, oh, none of the x values repeat. So there's not even a possibility for an x value here to be mapped to two different y values. The x values never repeated. <clears throat> All right, hope this helped.